Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Des with Evolve RC, and uh, what we got here is the A10 Warthog by Dynam. Uh, this is gonna be one of the best airframes you're gonna get for the price. I believe it comes as an ARF for about $139, around that ballpark, give or take. Um, check out on nitroplanes.com, and uh, they should have it there on, on various sales. You could sometimes get it for less, but definitely one of the best. Uh, Airf kits for the money. Uh, the airframe just glides and glides. It's a really good flyer. Um, if I were to nitpick on this guy, I'd say I want to say it's perfectly scaled, but it does look really good. Um, I'd, I'd recommend putting an extra carbon spar. I'd, uh, on the kit, it does come with a little carbon spar, but I, I'll definitely recommend beefing it up a little bit more because I have had uh, my wing flex on um, some aggressive dives. You know, if you are guys are an aggressive flyer you definitely um, uh, want to uh, stiffen up the wing a little bit more um, but if you're just uh, flowing around and doing really scale easy flying um, it should be more than enough uh, strength um, as as it comes to stock but anyways um, this is going to be a first of what we like to call our skunk work series um, um, in honor of uh, if you guys are familiar with Lockheed Martin's skunk works projects um, basically, that's that's the development uh, department where they do a lot of um, uh, with, uh, innovation and um, experimentation on their air aircraft, and uh, we're going to name this series after that. Uh, what we're doing here on this A-10 is um, we're swapping out. Uh, actually, I've already swapped out on the twin 64 units that's supposed to be there in here. Um, what we got now is. Uh, twin 70 millimeters now and it should really beef up the power system here uh, we swapped off the stock um, 64 millimeter motors and swapped them with the ME262 motor from uh, Hobby Parts um, it's a 3500 kV motor uh, 70 millimeter uh, I believe it's a 28 might be 2826 uh, uh, don't quote me on that but it is a stock ME 262 motor that it comes uh, that would come with the ME uh, uh, ARF kit. Um, what we got here set up is on a CS fan, a 10 blade. So uh, we won't be running this 4S like normally on the ME 262 because of the 10 blades. It will smoke the motor, so we're going to be running this on two 2200 3S packs. And uh, the reason for this setup is. Um, I just wanted something uh, a bit stronger than stock and faster with more thrust power for more vertical and uh, but most importantly I wanted it to be you know, power efficient and ec economical so you could run on cheaper 3S packs and still get that turbine sound so uh, we'll see what happens um, I've already done a thrust test on this and it's already pulling I believe uh, each motor on the 10 blade 3S setup um, 2.3 pounds of thrust so uh, 4.6 pounds of thrust together. Um, this plane flying weight is below 4 pounds um, from what I recall. I'll double check it afterwards in another video and I'll, I'll confirm that but I'm pretty sure um, on the stock setup it was way less. It was like 3.3 .3 pounds so just swapping out the motor should uh, and the EDF unit should, it shouldn't have reached 4 pounds flying weight. So um, what we got where we just souped it up with these uh, twin 70s and um, let me show you right here by taking off this uh, uh, the nacelle collar. Uh, what I did here is I, um, as you can see, it's the Arizona can. You can use this as thrust port, so you could uh, uh, drink the soda and use it as thrust port. So that's cool. And um, basically, what I did was cut about two and a half inches, um, so I could extend the thrust port and uh, kind of smooth out the airflow a little bit better. Because um, obviously these. The cells are made for a 64 inch EDF unit, so there's going to be a gap. So I filled in the gap here, uh, tracing it, and you know, filled it up with a, a Dollar Tree foam, um, you know, ready board. And uh, what I'm going to do is sand it down afterwards. And um, you can use this here to kind of do body work on it, to smooth it out, and then just paint it over. I can get this at uh, any hardware store or Lowe's or Home Depot. It's, um, let me try and zoom in on that. It's the uh, lightweight spackling, and uh, what you do is you just, you know, kind of smooth it over here after you glue everything together, sand it down, 
get a good finish, uh, put that spackle sander down, fill it up nicely, and uh, primer and paint, you know, so, um, and it'll, it'll look good, so, after that, um, after putting on the stress unit, I actually put on kind of a clear, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of, you see that kind of a clear plastic, what that is, is basically this thing here, and this you can get from like a water bottle, clear water bottle or something, but what I actually used is, uh, basically that, uh, it's a two liter Coke bottle, obviously that's green, so that's a 7-Up, I'm pretty sure it was a Coke or a Pepsi, I don't, I don't recall, but, um, it's going to be one of those, and what I did was, I kind of did a one inch cutout and uh, overlap because what I wanted to do was wrap that LED around that, as you can see, and what's going to do is going to give it a nice inward glow, kind of like a halo, uh, so, uh, you know, give it kind of that cool afterburner effect, so I'm going to light that up real quick just so you can see what it looks like, it'll look really cool at night, and kind of slap that cowl on a little bit, and uh, let me plug this up. So, let me put this down real quick. I want to plug up the battery. So you guys can see um, what the LEDs will look like when it's all lit up. Uh, it's too bad I don't have a chest cam, but um, hopefully in the next future videos I get one. So I'm going to have to put you guys in darkness while I plug and unplug things. So basically that's it. Looks pretty cool, huh? So, um, it's gonna look like an evil looking A10 at night or at dusk, and I'm pretty sure even in broad daylight you can see that. I think it's so bright, so that looks cool from even in the front. So, if you can see on the side, it actually glows through the foam, but after I paint that, you won't see that. But, um, in the back, it looks really cool with that 10 blade, and it looked like a really cool afterburner, so that looked pretty wicked. Alright, so uh, basically that's that. So um, you know, I did that clear plastic too, so you could do so you wrap the LED around and you know get that nice halo effect. What you want to do is make sure all your wires are tucked in really nice and tight, and um, make sure you test your LEDs if you choose to do this option here too. Test your LEDs, test your motors. I've already tested my motors, and what you want to do is see how this uh, on the A10 you got this mounting holes right over here. You want to make sure that you test fit everything before you glue it down when you do this mod. All right, you want to test fit it. You want to actually screw all this down and just check the way it fits around your mod. You know, check the way it fits after the screws have been clamped down, and then unscrew it. That way, you know, if you're in the middle of hot gluing this down or epoxy, you won't get, you know, you won't get stuck up with the screw. Sometimes the screw will not screw in properly and because that's because you didn't test fit it prior to doing this mod so uh, just a heads up and a tip there that way you guys don't get stuck in between gluing and screwing you know so um, just a tip there so uh, gonna do a follow-up video um, after I glue this down and I uh, do the body work on there sand and paint and um, uh, definitely uh, obviously one for the main and flight and uh, we're also gonna do a speed test so Look forward to that video. Uh, please post uh, any comments or questions that you might have about this uh, Skullworks Project A10 here and any uh, upgrades that you guys might want to see on other planes or whatnot or motors. But I uh, look forward to uh, many more Skullworks projects to come. So, um, oh, forgot to mention, uh, you can tell here I actually extended that with some foam board there too because uh, um, I noticed this. Uh, a10 it it has enough uh, tail authority but uh, at times it felt like I needed a little bit more to kind of get it up and over to do a loop so I extended that so it gave it a little bit more authority so um, that actually worked out really good so uh, like I said until next time I uh, look forward to these new Skunkwork videos uh, we got plenty more coming up but we're going to start off with this one and uh, if you like the video please put, uh, put a like in there and uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel also. And uh, leave any comments or questions that you might have at the bottom. So until next time, we'll see you guys.